Hello, this is Craig, and it's a beautiful day to save the planet. Specifically, there are a cloud, I don't know how this happened, a cloud of Class C asteroids coming in. I believe that this one is the first one, yeah, in 10 days, and then it leaves in 36 days. You see how this is on an impact course? So we don't want that to happen. We would prefer not to get hit by a Class C meteor. All right, Bob, time to save the planet. Okay, so it's a million meters away, which isn't nearly as far as it sounds. The only thing left to do is bring ourselves directly on course with it. We don't need to approach it any faster than this, though, so... We are now within range of just brute force, total brute force approach, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, time to enter the final phase, and that is the RCS approach phase. You know what, it's fine if you grab there. I'm okay with it. Just grab... There, got it. So this is the ship I built. As you can see, it's got a poodle and four LV-30s. LV, sorry, a T20, T-45s. But you can see that I'm using some B9 parts, and I've tucked in a lot of cool little features. It's neat. We're going the right way. We just have to wait for it to... Uh, pop out above the surface of the planet. Yep. All right, let's capture this thing. The drag on the atmosphere should hopefully be just right. It shouldn't take a whole lot of capturing. Uh, it, it's not it's not escaping by very much. Looks like it might have been just right. So the only thing left to do is left is to drag this side out of the atmosphere. So the whole point of this exercise was to capture a C-class asteroid, because I've got this mod which allows me to um, dig it out. Okay, we're going to launch a drone to figure out exactly what happens when we try and empty out an asteroid and fill it with fuel. The target is spinning rather awkwardly, but that should be fine. And connect. Good. Alright, so here we have the uh, Activate Melt Rock. I don't know what this does exactly. Oh, interesting. I see. Oh, cool. It's going to take a while to melt all the rock, though. All right, well, let's see what happens when we vent the rock now. All right, we can convert the space to rock. Empty total space. Aha, aha, I see, I see. Well, we better leave this running for a while. Okay, it's time for us to launch the last part of our base. Our asteroid base needs to have a logistics hub and some inflatable fuel tanks for the fuel we're going to want. It's also ne going to need plenty of storage for monoprop because we don't have any dedicated monoprop fuel. For some reason you can't store that in asteroids. But that's why we've got so much monoprop storage. There's so much to see! So much to do! Your ship. Hey, I can see your house from here. Why is this called Planet of the Prehistoric Women? It makes no sense. All right, Sergeant. Come on, you guys. It's time to read some letters here. Okay, Cambot, let's... Uh... Oops, you lost your head. Oops. Oh, my skull. Oh, that's too bad. That's okay. All right. Here we go. Cambot, put this up on the screen. There are a couple of things we might want to do first, though. So let's go ahead and deploy our solar panels. All right, well, let's go ahead and plug in this one. Arm it, control it. So we've got a tank here. Let's expand it. And uh, we can actually change how expanded it is later. Let's go ahead and decouple. 
So let's put the other tank in. We just need to move a little bit. Perfect. Alright. Then what we need to do is go and truss up this ship. And we are ready to finish off here. Great. Looks like everything's working great. Lots of clicking. It should really allocate in thousands. The next step is to go home. So gentle, we didn't even lose the solar panels. Congratulations, Bob. You have set up an asteroid base that will be pivotal in our various adventures outside of the Kerbal system. Outside of the Kerbal local space. But we do want to go and check on that asteroid base. Make sure that it's not mysteriously exploding. Looks fine. Alright, so that means that everything's working great. Um, when I have some spare time or get around to it, I'll fill this base up with fuel by simply sucking it down, either through this colony logistics mod or through a ground-based colony logistics mod. A beautiful base. Sort of. Vaguely.